Two weeks ago, I made a video detailing why I was quitting my complete inbox N64 collection with only about 30 games to go. In that video on the table, I was showing off some of the rarest games for the N64 library, including Stunt Racer and Super Bowling. All of those games shown were traded and sold to another collector who is hoping to accomplish what I could not. And if you aren't that familiar with N64 games and their prices, this trade was valued at over $10,000. Today, we are finally going to get to see the games that I received in this massive trade. That's what we're unboxing today. Let's get over to the station. I've got nothing more to say. As always, thanks to every Patreon who supports the channel, and let's get into this thing. I am so excited to finally be opening up this box that I've had sitting in my house for the past two weeks, waiting for the trade on his end to be fully completed before I started digging into this one. This is what I'm looking at inside of the box here. Five graded Zelda games inside. I'm just gonna pull out each of these individual packages here. And it looks like the rest of them are inside this box right here. So these are going to be in no particular order. Also with this deal, there was some money that traded hands too, but I'm not gonna get too into the details of that because it's not about who won this trade and I don't want you guys being like, oh, he ripped them off or I got ripped off. Both sides are completely happy with the trade. We priced everything out, so don't worry about any of that. But still, I do want you to put your opinion in the comment section if you'd rather have the N64 games that I traded away or the games that you're about to see today. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that and let's do the first game here. So it's a big one. It's a nice one. The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap VGA 90 for Game Boy Advance. That is really cool and really nice. One thing I will say here, I leave all of my VGA games inside of the little plastic baggies. So touching this without the bag almost gives me anxiety. I don't like it. Very excited that this is the first one we see. I'm a big Game Boy Advance collector, even though I've never personally played Minish Cap. I've never really even played Game Boy Advance advance at all to be completely honest but for whatever reason i loved collecting for the console i have like 300 complete in box game boy advance games and this one's of course going to slot in very nicely i'm just gonna lay minish cap down beside us here and let's get into the next one the next one we have is legend of zelda link to the past vga 90 uncirculated on game boy advance and this is the version that has the horizontal seam across the back there is also a version that has the vertical seam if you're one of the collectors that cares about that very very cool well, these VGA 90s really they they are just they're beautiful right VGA 90 is really really nice you really don't have to worry about there being any kind of hidden damage on that once you get into the VGA 90 scale like those are nice freaking games so as we're talking about Zelda here and unboxing it I guess this is a good time to tell you guys that I actually haven't played that many Zelda games in my life and let me know if this makes you think I'm a Zelda poser or where you guys sit on this. So I have played Ocarina of Time, then Majora's Mask, then I played Wind Waker, but never beat it. Then I played a very little bit of Twilight Princess, never beat it. Then I never played Skyward Sword at all. I played a little bit of Breath of the Wild. I've never played any of the handheld Zeldas, played a little bit of the NES Zeldas. I've never played Link to the Past on Super Nintendo. So yeah, I've played like two Zelda games to full completion. And then I've played like five of them a little bit. Does that make me a fake Zelda fan? Let's go ahead and bring out the next game that I've never played, but of course love to add to the collection. We have The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure on Nintendo GameCube. Very, very cool. I actually do remember when this one came out because I was still playing GameCube at the time. I was still playing Wind Waker at the time. And I actually did really want to buy this game, but we just never did for whatever reason, right? But again, like I've said, insanely happy to be adding this one to the collection. Two more Zelda games left. Next up, we have Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Nintendo GameCube 90 Plus. As you guys know, this was also released on the Wii console, so this was a very late release GameCube game, which lends itself to a lot of its collectability and always kind of been a more expensive Zelda game, even way back when. Twilight Princess would be the last Zelda game that I played a little bit during my childhood until Breath of the Wild came out. Like, what? 15 years later? It, it's actually insane, the Zelda hiatus that I went on. And the last Zelda we have here is also the most modern Zelda we've seen yet. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword with the music CD and the nice little hollow foil cover there. Out of all the Zelda games we looked at today, this one I probably do care the least about. But still, as a collector, I want to get all of the Zelda games at some point. I mean, Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, as well as Link to the Past and the one on Game Boy, are gonna prove very, very difficult. But still, it's a goal that I have and hopefully someday, I'll be able to complete it. Here you guys have it. All of the Zelda games I received in that trade. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Let me know which games you would rather own. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. I'm really curious to see how you guys view the trade. I've got nothing more to say. Like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video.